Hello, Veronica Spriggs here with another digital scrapbooking tutorial for you. Today we're going to be working in Photoshop with the Refine Edge tool. The Refine Edge, as you can see here, will only be shown if you have one of your selection buttons checked. And here you can see I have the shape area selection checked. And now if I check the uh, magic wand button, you'll see that it appears again. And so on, if I choose any of the other tools, it's no longer visible. So go back to our shape area selection and you can see that Refine Edge is showing, but it is not currently available for use. And I'll show you how to get that activated. I've already started with my image here, which has been extracted from its original background. And you can see that I've placed a digital scrapbooking background behind it. And the original image rests on its own layer. A lot of the times after you've extracted an image in Photoshop, you may want to clean up any excess background left behind or smooth out any jagged or rough edges. I'm going to zoom in on my image and you can see here that I need to get rid of some of the dark background that has been left behind from the original image. And if I scroll over here, you can see some of that image is remaining on the edge of this petal as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get started using Refine Edge. The first thing you'll want to do is select your image. And we're going to do that by control click on our image. And you can see that the image is selected and floating. And now the Refine Edge button has become activated. Okay, so we're going to go into Refine Edge, but before we do that, we want to make sure that we have zoomed into our image 100%. And you also want to make sure that you have an area of the image showing that you know needs to be corrected with Refine Edge. Okay, once that's done, select Refine Edge, and you'll see your Refine Edge palette come open. You can choose down here the background that you want to show while you're working. You have, um, I forget what this one's called, standard. And then you have your quick mask. A black background. A white background. And then this is how it would appear if you were making a mask. Okay. Now, as you can see, depending on what you're trying to correct, you see here I have a lot of dark area that I need to get rid of. If I were choosing a black background, that wouldn't be very effective for me because now I can't see what it is that I need to clean up. So I'm going to choose a white background, but obviously if you were trying to remove some white edges or a very light color, you would want to choose the black background. But it's probably best if you if you show your image on both these backgrounds while you're working or before you close out Refine Edge. All right, I'm going to set this to default so that um, I can show you how to get started with your commands. Radius, you generally want to leave set to 1, but depending on the image that you're working on, you can play with the sliders. It's going to determine how much um, of the image it's going to be working on. I generally tend to start down here with Contract Expand. Contract Expand does exactly that. It's either going to contract the selection that surrounds your um, image or it's going to expand it and you'll see what happens as I go to expand the dark area around my edges 
are starting to come back now. So, generally speaking, most of the time, you're not going to want to expand. Most of the time, you're probably going to want to contract into your image a bit. Okay, so we're going to do that. And we're going to start off with a moderate number of 12. And you can see that's somewhat effective, but not completely because I still have dark area here. So I'm going to go in a little bit more. Sometimes if contract isn't exactly doing it for you, you may want to try smooth as well because, because that's going to get rid of some excess or funky areas around your image. But you want to be careful with that because as you can see down here on our image, when you're smoothing, it can tend to get rid of a lot of the detail. But you can play with that slider a little bit and see if it works. For this particular image, there's not a lot of detail around the edge, so I can be a little more liberal with the smooth. Most times, I don't really tend to play with that too much. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. There is a slight area of um, darkness here that I'd like to get rid of, but if I did that, I would have to go way into my image. Um, now you can see this area looks really, really good. Okay. I'm going to use my pan tool to smooth over to that other area we had talked about. And this area is looking very good as well. I don't see any dark lines around the image at all. So you want to continue panning around your image. Make sure that all looks well. All right. The next slider that I generally like to access is the contrast. The contrast button is going to determine how sharp or soft your edges are. Right now it's currently set to zero and it looks like our edge is pretty good. I generally tend to take this slider somewhere between 20 and 35. You can see here at 34 the edge is already pretty crisp probably a little crisper than I'd like it to be but I'm gonna take it up a little bit further so that you can see the differences now at 81 we're starting to get the jagged edges I was speaking about earlier um, since we're here to get rid of any jagged or rough edges we certainly don't want to do that so I'm gonna bring my slider back a bit And I think in this case, 24, maybe I'll try it at 20 even. 20 gives me a really nice, smooth edge. And I like the way that looks. So I'm going to hit OK. But before I do that, I'm going to um, toggle my preview button so that you can see what we were originally working with and I'm going to go to that area that was in question and I'm going to do that now. You see the original image as it appeared a lot of darkness around the edges and now I'm going to toggle my preview back on and you can see that all of the dark in the area has been removed. So I'm going to hit OK now you can see what refine edge has done to our image you can see that our original selection has been contracted into the image and all of the settings that we applied in refine edge have now been applied to the image refine edge didn't actually remove the selection for us so we're going to go in and do that now You want to right click, layer via cut, and now the area that has been selected to be removed is now on its own separate layer, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'll toggle that off. 
and now you can see we have a now clean image all of the dark area has been removed I'll show you how that looks without the background all of our edges are perfectly smooth perfectly clean and that's all thanks to refine edge so that's it I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you back for the next one